and then DJ. What you guys doing? Reading the Bible? Can really? you read it to us, please? Can you read me the yeah, last chapter? Yet. All right. In the beginning, God created the heavens and earth. Okay. Yeah. What All right. Mean? We're the Hebrew Israelites go week in and week out. The prophets had a downfall of the wicked and sinful kingdom. America, Babylon the Great, giving all praise, yeah. honor, and glory to uh, Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh, by Hashem, the Prophet Dash. Double honor to the apostles, and the great millstone. Peace and salutations to you, brothers, to the four corners of the earth, preaching this word, and also laboring in this word. Yes, sir. Amen. May blessing fall upon the house of the Lord. Amen. You just keep going to the church. Every week, we tell the truth with the Holy Bible. Amen. Amen, brother. Amen. The also, uh, the confusion of face Israelites out there as well. Okay, they may look like you, but y'all can be Israelites. Right, right. right. What's your nationality? Um, I'm, I'm, I'm Caucasian. I'm white. What? what? Like from where? I'm from Germany and Ukraine. Germany and Ukraine. I don't know well, where are you from, sir. I got a lot. I don't of know where my lineage goes back to, but, but I'll say this: we, we Israelites. Yeah, right, 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 right. Yeah. And, and, and like the brother was saying, it's not necessarily about outward appearance or even regional, you know, places right. where your family may be from. It's about the spirit, you know, because the Israelites, the Israelites, first and foremost, what we identify them as is the so-called black. Can I read Are you lying? Oh, no. I'm on video. First called black Latino, the Native American, but our people were scattered into all nations, so we're gonna look like all people. Including like, you know, so far. This is going to be on my Facebook. Including like yourself, okay? Because this ain't about skin color, man. We all bleed the same blood. <laughs> what? Either what might be, definitely ain't. Can we read the chapter? Nah, y'all been drinking. Won't I, hey, won't I, I, won't I have a good time and just celebrate the day of folly, man? I want to listen to you know, some The day of folly? Oh, we have to have the same Patrick's Day. I need a blessing. We can pray together. The best thing you can do is just listen. We're going to read the word. He's nasty. He's 10 and 6. Uh-huh. Folly is set in great dignity. Folly is set in great dignity. This day is the day of folly, man. You see people running around on the parade around the street drunk. You see them acting a damn fool like they ain't got no sense, right? So this day is the day of folly, man. Right. Folly meaning foolishness, man. Foolishness, right? They ain't on our people are falling out this madness. No, we gotta go. Meaning they don't follow the true ways for the true holy days of the Lord, but they take up and run around falling some days like St. Patrick. Run around with all this green on. Yeah, verbatim. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesus answered and said unto them, 
And take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ. They shall deceive many. Right, many are going to come in the name and say that they are the anointed. Go ahead. And ye shall hear the hear of wars and rumors of wars. So these are the different signs you hear. The wars and the rumors of wars. Don't you hear all these different things going on through the media? So you're trying to say the world's ending soon? Yeah, yeah it's going to end soon. All right, yeah, all the signs are coming to pass. Wars, so rumors guys, of wars. Nations rising up against nation, okay? okay. And, and a lot of these missiles gonna come from Russia. And, and Russia, Russia come up with a new missile every couple of days. Seems like. I got a serious question for you. Okay. Yes. Wait. Okay, I'm let listening. me talk, cause y'all don't think I'm crazy, bro. Okay. You got a question or you got a statement? Mr. Trump. All right, what you got to say? So look, I know you're not supposed to believe everything you see on Facebook, blah blah blah. Right. But I'm on Facebook, okay? I see this thing like by the end of October 2020. We're going to have to get microchips inserted into us. Now, I, Did y'all you know, hear about that? Yeah, the microchips in the Bible. It's still called the mark the of the beast. The mark of the beast. Yeah, so yeah, they know it's real. So y'all believe it? Yeah, yeah, we know it. It's in the Bible. And you believe it's going to happen. And we believe it. We know the They're government. already pushing it. No, right. They are. They're already, already pushing it. I need y'all to come talk to my family. Please. They're not going to listen. I know. No one's believing. Everybody's not meant to Everybody listen. Not meant to listen. You too. Everybody's not meant to get this. But how am I supposed to get through? You gotta understand though, everybody, some people are appointed to die. There's very few people that's gonna make it. If you know anything about the scripture, it says that broad is the way that leads to destruction, but narrow is the pathway that leadeth unto life and unto righteousness. Or really, it says unto everlasting life. And there be few that find it. So it's gonna be more people that die than that actually live, that actually get it, that are actually protected, okay? So what am I supposed to do? You don't take, you gotta, if you believe and you, and you, if you just don't happen to be an Israelite, you, all you can do is get yourself right. And pray that and pray that you get saved. You can try to share it with your people. If they don't get it, it's gonna come a point in time where you just gotta be like, I'm wasting my time. Okay, so y'all so me that I am not crazy, that's really gonna happen in the world. Yeah. That's that's the only way you're gonna be able to buy or sell is if you had a chip. Man, thank you, man. I thought I was crazy for the past couple months. Well don't feel crazy. So look, are y'all dying before you get the chip? Like you're not gonna We don't know we don't know if the most high is gonna kill us or not, but what we do know is because some of the men of the Lord will be martyrs. Some of them will be saved from the coming destruction. Ecclesiastes 8 and 1. It says, He answered me, saying, The Most High had made this world for many, to, for me, but the world to come for few. See, just backing up what the brother said. Right, he made this world for many, but the world to come for few. But, and about the chip, right? You see, so the world to come is the one with the chip? All these, all, these, all these things that you see in society that's normal, right? All this is going to be backed up by the mark of the beast, by the whole chip system, man. Right. See, Jake and them think it's a game, man. You see, like Jake back here. Hey, we know he's the Israelite. If he don't repent and turn to the Lord, he's going to die a horrible death. He see? don't believe it. Everybody's going to take the chip, right? Yeah. He's going to die. Shit. He's going to die of famine. You yeah. see? Oh, give me Revelation 13 and 16. He ain't gonna be a, Please, people that got the, the don't got the chip ain't gonna, gonna be able to go eat in society. Not they ain't gonna, gonna be able to do everything. Oh, you ain't gonna, gonna be able to go. Chip. If you like smoking yeah. cigarettes, you ain't gonna be able to go get them cigarettes. Smoke a cigarette. You see? Right. You have to have a chip to either buy it or sell We give it to y'all straight raw. Damn, right? yo! Straight oh, raw, God. man. All drink, no chasing, man. Oh, we, we, we tired of playing games with our people, man. Our people been playing games for too long, man. You're right. Go look, go look, go look. Right, go look, right, go look. Right. See, we ain't gonna lie like the pork chop eating pants, man. We gonna tell you, y'all get right with the little people. Right, man. Where, you where and you your guys, family, where man. Where do you guys church? Like, where do you guys? This church, church right here. Bring it out. You got it. Where is your church? Yep. Yeah. The church. It's in the church. The two or three church. are gathered in my name. We the church. Amen. Revelation 13 and 16. Here go the mark of the beast, read it. They See, look, please, Revelation 13. Look, 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 look. If they don't believe, don't believe forget them, man. If they don't believe, much. forget them, man. Can you read okay. it? Read it. Revelation 13 and 16. And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, slaves and bond. You might be an Israelite or a Hey, you better get away from them unbelievers, man, because they're going to die, man. Right. Yeah, yeah okay. Revelation 13, bring it out, bro. Revelation 13 and 16. That's right. And he calls it all, both small and great, uh -huh. rich and poor, free and bond, uh -huh. to receive a mark in their right hand and in their forehead. Right, so this is Esau Edom, okay? This is he. He's going to cause all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive what? A mark in their, in their right hand 
Or in their forehead. Right, a mark. Going back to the word mark in the Greek is karagma. You see, what does that word for karagma mean, brother? That word karagma means an etching in the flesh or a sticking in your flesh. Right, an implant or an incision. You right. see? Yep. And if you don't got that mark, go ahead and read it, brother. That no man might buy or sell, and no man might not buy, might buy or sell. So if you don't have that chip, you're not gonna be able to do your regular everyday shopping, man. See, you're gonna be able to do if you if you like to do a lot of trade, and you're gonna be able to do that unless you get the chip. Go ahead. Say that. Say that had the mark. Say that he that what? Say he that had the mark. Say that he that had the mark. You see, so you're not gonna be able to do things in society unless you got the chip. You see? And she asked me, we're going to take the chip. Hell no. We hope the Lord put it on her spirit to not take that chip, man. Right. Because you take that chip, you are going to die a horrible death. Right. And yeah, and even if she's locked in the loud bucket, and even if she don't take the chip, she ultimately got to be covered by a man of the Lord, man. Right. Right. Or the most I have to put his protection on. Right. If she's an Israelite. Con. Okay? Con. If now, she's an Israelite. Now, I perceive that the spirit like that bad baby spirit was on a couple of them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That little, uh, what that is, that catch me outside chick. Yeah, yeah. How she act just like an Israelite. You know what I'm saying? Right. And right. she might be a J. But she might. And I caught that spirit on these <laughs> little, these little uh, pale skin nigglets right, right. that was just over here, man. Now I perceive this, you know, <laughs> this, you know and this is just me speaking to it, man. I think she might have was a J. Right. You know, now the other one was a pure unbeliever Edomite, right? With the unbelieving uh, Jake there, he's going, to, he's going to die, man. Now, actually, okay. I felt like she, from the way she was talking, she might be a Jake too, but she doesn't unbelieve. You're talking about the one that was in the back. The old big head one, the big yeah, head yeah, one yeah. with the brace. Well, you know, I hey, feel, well, brother, but you know, we, you know, you know, if y'all don't repent and turn to the Lord, right? You gotta be Israelite to repent and turn to the Lord. You gonna die? Let me get this. Second, uh, second Daniel 15, verse. I start at one. It says, uh, Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord, and cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful in truth. You see, we come out here, we come out here to uh, preach or prophesy the word of God by strong trap. Government wants to microchip you with the mark of the beast. Hey, this is all prophecy. So we're gonna tell you, right? And if the scriptures say cause them to be written in the paper, for they are faithful and true. Because these these words are actually going to be these things are actually going to come to pass that we're speaking of. Right. Okay? Just because you people don't believe it don't mean it's not gonna uh, come to pass. Right. You see? It's gonna come, man. You see? Yeah. You know what that preacher is? Habakkuk two and three. That's what Joe's thinking of. Yeah. That's the spirit. Have a two and three, man. Because all these things are going to come up. See, Jake is in this so comfortable mindset, right? And they're so, uh, their mind is so diluted. They don't think these things are actually going to come up. But it's okay, though. That's what the Lord says. I'm going to come a thief. I'm going to come as a thief in the night. You got it? Uh, is it pointing? Yeah. Have a cook two, verse three. That's not the one I was thinking about, but I'll read it. Okay. Have a cook two, verse three. Uh -huh. But the vision is yet for an appointed time. Yeah. But at the end it shall speak and but, not lie. At the end it shall speak and not lie. And we know that the end is manifest, right? And what else? We know Esau is the end of the world. Jacob is the beginning of it that follow. So we know we're at the end because who's ruling this devil, man? Right? Esau, Edom, so far away. But you are slowly but surely seeing the rise of Jacob. That's why you see brothers out here all through the four corners of the earth teaching the Bible. Bible in faith, truth, and sincerity, right? And then you got the believers too. That's believing on the men, believing on the word of God by smell shot through the men that's speaking, and they are starting to change their lifestyle. Okay? Right. So we don't care if you're the don't believe. Hey, we're just gonna tell you you're gonna die. Though it tarry, wait for it, because uh -huh. it will surely come, it will not tarry. Right, so just because it may be taking a little bit of time, guess what? It's still gonna come to pass, man. Right. It's still gonna come. And like the scriptures also say, the most high's word has not gone out void. Hey, that's it will surely accomplish that which he said it to do, man. Okay? The most high, we ain't just out here saying this stuff for our help. It's cold as hell out here, all right? We out here warning you, all right? 
The Most High said this place is going to be destroyed if you so-called black, Latino, Native Americans and confusion of faith Israelites do not repent. You will die with America Babylon, all right? I That's got it. it. Go ahead, bro. It's locked here. Isaiah 55, verse 11, it says, So shall my word be that go forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. Right. Hey, plain and simple, man. And it gives a beautiful analogy, man. Right. Just like the rain don't fall on the ground just to make the ground wet. No, it has purpose. It feeds the the, uh, the plants. It, it gives water to drink for the man, you know, for men. And, 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 the, and the whole cycle goes through. This word goes through the same type of cycle to where it'll accomplish that which he said it to do. And he said that this place will be destroyed for the iniquity of it. You can guarantee it's going to happen, man. Go eat, go and carry, wait for it. Right. You know what I'm saying? All right, so let me go back to mine. Right? Book of Second Exodus 15, uh, verse 2, it says, And cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. Fear not the imagination to get thee. Let not the incredulity, incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. Right? And that's you faithless people, man. Okay? You people that don't believe. But guess what it says for you? For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. And this isn't a Bible, man. Yep. You see? To all you unbelievers, y'all gonna die, man. Okay? Yep. Two kids if you don't believe, man. Oh, uh oh. -uh. So we get it. Doesn't make the word of none effect. I already know you're going to. You already know, brother. <laughs> the book of Romans 3, verse 3. It says, For what if some did not believe? Right? So you 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 so-called black, black team and Native American, oh, you don't believe in our Lord and Savior. Right? You don't believe that you're trying to enter life. You don't believe what the men of the Lord and the prophets are saying. Right? You don't believe in the Bible. Guess what? You are going to get destroyed, man. Okay? So I'll read it again. Romans 3, verse 3. For what if some did not believe? Shall their unbelief make the faith of the most high without effect? Yahweh forbid. Yea, let most high Yahweh be true, but every man a liar, as it is written, man. So go ahead, come keep believing these folks, pork chop beat and pastors, man, tell you that it's all good, man. Keep believing that, man. You see? Keep believing these wicked Israelites telling you that you ain't gonna go through no tribulation. Yeah, okay. Hey, the scripture says, let the most high Yahweh be true, and every man a liar, man. So the words that you're speaking, uh, 1 Peter 4 and 11, but the word, Isaiah 8 and 20. Unless you got something. Like Isaiah 8. So if the words what you're speaking, if it does not line up with the scriptures, then you off, man. Then you off means there ain't no light in you, man. You're supposed to speak the oracles of the most high. That's why when people ask questions, you answer them with the word only, man. It ain't about our opinion, man. What we got to say Amen, does not brother. matter, Amen. man. Okay, it's about what the Lord got to say. Bring it out. The book of Isaiah, chapter 8, and verse 20. Uh -huh. To the law and to the testimony. Right. If they speak not according to this word. If they speak not according to this word. And we know this book is full of prophecy. If you're not speaking about no prophecy, then you ain't got the truth, man. Okay? A lot of these people talk about they believe in the Bible, but they don't want to deal with prophecy. Or you call yourself a preacher, but you ain't dealing with prophecy. Right? But we know the, uh, 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 the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. You see? Go ahead, brother. It is because there was no light in them. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's the point, man. Oh, if you speak not, like Isaiah 8 and 20, to the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, it is because there was no light in them. And like the scriptures plainly tell you, man, if you speak, if you speak not according to the word of the Holy Bible, the words of Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai, it's because you don't have any light in you, man. You dark, you wicked, man. Right. You know? And furthermore, that according, according to this word is this word according to the true doctrine, man. You know? Go ahead. I got it, bro. I got it. I got it. The book of First Peter 4 and 11. It says, if, a, if any man speaks, let him speak as the oracles of the Most High. Any man minister, let him do it as the ability which the Most High Yahweh will give us. 
that Yahweh and all things may be glorified through Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, to whom we to whom be praised and dominion forever and ever. Right? Because when the Lord comes back on the scene, right? The King of King, Lord, the Lord, our Savior for the children of Israel, who uh, went on the cross and died, right? For the sins of Israel, okay. We know when he when, when his rulership, when he returns. And he begins to rule, it's going to be forever and ever, man. See, ain't going to be no taking the Lord and the Israelites out of power no more, man. All that's going to be done with, man. Okay? We're going to rule the earth in righteousness, right? And we're going to show y'all how the earth is to be governed the right way. Because the law, statutes, and commandments are going to be in our inward parts, man. It ain't going to be any other nation. And we're going to have to teach y'all. Y'all going to have to follow the ways of Yahweh Bashanel Shah. If not, y'all ain't going to get no rain, right? Y'all going to be getting beat and everything. Yeah. Keep fighting till the Lord start fucking Jacob, man. I can't wait, man. See? The Lord's about to do a mass destruction upon our people, man. And it needs to be, man, because you niggas need purrs, man. And a lot of you wicked ass Israelite women, too, man. Sick of this folly and this wickedness out here. You got it, bro. This is Amos chapter 9, verse 10. Right. All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword. Beautiful. Read it again, brother. Amos chapter 9, 9 verse 10. Amos chapter 9, verse 8. Uh -huh. Behold, the eyes of the, of the Lord Yahweh are upon the sinful king. Right. The Lord has are upon this sinful kingdom, man. We know the first sinful kingdom is talking about Israel, man. It was the sinful kingdom. But now we equate that to what America, Babylon, the great. This is the most wicked and sinful kingdom. That has to be destroyed. Go ahead. And I will destroy it from off the face of the earth. Right, and that's why we got that sign down there, man. The end of the world, World War III. Mm -hmm. the, the Lord is going to send missiles over here to this place, man. And utter, yes, utterly sir. destroy this place. This place is going to be a desolate wilderness. What's happening? Right? For beast like creatures and different fowls, man. Desert like, desert like creatures. Right. Go ahead, bro. Saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob. Right, so. The people that won't be utterly destroyed at the house of Jacob is the elect. Okay? That's it. It's all about the elect right now, man. Because two thirds of our people it's are rebellious, they are hit, and they don't want to return right. to the Lord, man. So they got to get destroyed. Save the Lord. Uh huh. Below, I will command and I will sift the house of Israel amongst among all nations. Yeah. Like as corn is sifted in the sieve. Yet shall I not. Least, yet shall not the least grain fall upon the earth. All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword. All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword. What is sin? Right? Sin is transgression of the law. You see? So where no law is, you can't appear to sin. So the law is the law. The scriptures say the law endure forever, man. Okay? The law is going forever, so we transgress the ways of the Heavenly Father. You're committing sin. So read that again, because what's going to happen to these people, bro? All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword. You're still celebrating these wicked holidays, you're going to die. You're still eating pork, shrimp, crab, and lobster, and all the, the wicked things that the dietary law that you're supposed to eat, you're going to be destroyed. You're a homosexual, homosexual, you're a lesbian, you're a transgender, you're a drug dealer, you're a thief, you're a robber. You're going to be destroyed if you're going to turn to the Lord, man. That's what's going to happen. You're a young man, you're a liar. Okay? That's what's going to happen, man. You see? This is what's going to happen when the Lord comes back on the scene, man. Okay? The Lord got a fierce anger against this place. He's not playing with you people, man. We don't know what you've been taught and miseducated by these churches. They ain't teach y'all the truth, man. That's why y'all running around here in complete wickedness and madness that y'all into now, man. See? But wait till all hell break you, man. Wait till destruction come upon you, man. Because this is what's coming to America, man. Y'all think that the Lord is just all loving spirit and he don't destroy people and he don't play people with diseases? He does it all, man. You see, he does it all, man. Okay? When he be putting little babies to death, it's the Lord that sanctions you that, man. The Lord sanctions you that. You get too die and fall. When the car crashes, the snow's flying out the window. The Lord did that. See? The Lord did it all, man. So quit trying to blame Satan, man. Which he works for the Lord, man. Quit trying to use a cop out. See, the problem is our people don't fear Yahweh Bashi Yahweh Shai, man. They fear Jesus, man. 
just this fucking false ideology of a person. But really, what is there to fear about so-called white Jesus, man? He basically, that vibration comes with you can do what you want. All oh, look. You just do what you want until right before the last second, and you just feel real bad, and then all of a sudden, all is forgiven. Make a sinister prayer, man. That's out. That ain't, that ain't shit to be uh, uh, scared of, man. You know? Right. But see, that's, that's the problem with our people. They don't fear the Lord, and they don't want to fear the Lord. Because when you find out that you can't just keep doing wickedness, then they reject it, man. That's right. That's right. They reject it, and that's why they got to die, man. Yeah. The most high, our people look some of the most foolish people on the earth, man. Coming downtown in a shower cap, looking retarded as hell, but then they want to mock and they want to scoff. Okay? The most high doesn't play, man. The most high is going to start killing mass amounts of people, man. It don't matter where you come from. If you're doing wickedly, you're going to die, man. Right. Especially you Israelites, man. All the people that just died that morning. Who sent you that? The Lord. See? All these different bombings and things that's happening in this country. That plane crash. Plane crash. The Lord. The Most High allowed them people to die, man. Different hurricanes, different floods, different famines, all that's the Lord, man. But guess what? He's saving the best place for last, man. America, Babylon, and great. Right. You see? Oh, read that. You still got some more on that, right? Uh, yeah. You got to read some real quick. Go ahead. Psalm chapter 68, verse 20. He that is our power is the power of salvation. Uh huh. And unto the Most High, the Lord belongs. Oh the issues from death. Yeah, so from the Lord, man, we do know he's merciful and he's the power of salvation. But we do also know the issues of death come from the Lord, man. And that's why we know by the tear of the Lord, we persuade men. You see? People look at it, oh, it's a fear tactic. Man, y'all post the fear of your how about seeing y'all shy, man. You see? Because when you do fear your how about seeing y'all shy, you wouldn't be doing all the panels of madness that you went to, man. See? You at least uh, uh, try to turn to the Lord. You will offend less. You will try to put off the, the wicked works and ways that you've been taught and brought up here uh, in America, Babylon, and Great Witch. They taught you uh, that it was the right thing to do. But when you go back to the scripture, you find out that it's the wrong thing to do. And Esau is the help, the help of the, the creation of brute beasts, man. Okay? That's what our people are likened to, man. Fucking animals. See, and you wonder why the so-called white man look at you as such. That's how you carry yourself, man. Go ahead, bro. Amos, Amos chapter 9 and 10. Uh -huh. All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword, yeah. which say the evil shall not overtake nor prevent us. And that's the what, a mindset of a lot of our people, man. That's a two-third mentality right there, man. You know, ain't no evil going to overtake us, man. You see? I don't see Russia shooting no nukes over here to America or no famine happening, right? Lord ain't gonna send no, no pestilence on us, you see? But see, there's no truth uh, uh, of the most high in this land, man. You see, so y'all don't know that the true ways of the judgment of your high boss you don't try, man. Okay? Go ahead, bro. So that's why people think like that, man. That they just, in a good case of nothing, gonna take place. Go ahead. In that day will I raise up the tabernacle of David. Uh -huh, the tabernacles of David is being built as we speak, man. Okay? Go ahead. In that day will I raise up the tabernacle of David yep. and his father, uh -huh. and close up the breaches thereof. That's right. And I will raise up his ruins, and I will raise up his ruins, and I will build it as the days of old. As the days of old. See, so all this is being built back up, man. You see, all the Israelites, all the tribes is coming together, man. Because we was all once together and united under King David, man. Okay, and then it, we end up being split, you know, by uh, King uh, King Solomon's son, Rehoboam, and the wicked King Jeroboam. You know, but all, everything is being built back up, you know. It's all being built as in the days of old, man. So everything is about to go back into its former ways, okay? Right? Anybody got a precept? Uh, no, I just had one about you know, the fear of the Lord. Okay, get that. This hey, is, what's uh, your brother's nationality? What's your nationality? Where y'all from? Where y'all from? Yeah. Ethnicity, race? Saudi. Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia, okay. So, so y'all know y'all Ishmael? No. Well, y'all could be Ishmaelites. Hebrews 12 and 9. 
And this is like the, like the brother was going into, man. Ultimately, our people don't fear the Lord. You know what I'm saying? They don't, they don't fear nothing, seem like, except for worldly things. Hebrew 12 and 9. Yeah. Furthermore, we have had fathers of our flesh which corrected us, and we gave them reverence. Shall we not much rather be in subjection unto the Father of spirits and live? See? So you should fear the Most High. You should be under subjection of the Most High. Why? Because that's the ways to life. That straight gate. That position of difficulty, man. That discipline. You know? And of course, man, we all had those moments when we was younger. Or, or, and, and even now, where it don't feel good, you know, you might be like, dang. But really, that's the only way to life, man. You're not going to gain the uh, the riches of the kingdom to come if you're not going through that, that position of difficulty, man. Right. 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 All right, I got uh, Isaiah 45, verse 7. It says, I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. So everything comes from the Lord. And he controls both forces. So no matter if it's you know, something good that's happening, something evil, hey, it all goes back to the Lord. There can't nothing be sanctioned without the Lord's approval, man. All right, so, uh, okay, we go to uh, the book of Hosea 4. Book of Hosea, chapter 4, verse 6. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Hold on. Uh, no, 4 and 1, brother. Oh, so like Isaiah, uh, Hosea 4 and 1. Hear the word of the Lord, Yahweh, ye children of Israel. I hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel. Go ahead. For the Lord have a controversy with the inhabitants of the land. That's right. Because there was no truth, nor mercy, nor knowledge of the Most High in the land. Right. There is no truth. There is no mercy, and there is no knowledge of the Most High in this land except for the men of the Lord. Except for the prophets, man. Rightly dividing the word of truth. Right? You people would not know the different ways, uh, the characteristics of Yahweh and Yahweh Shah if it wasn't for the men of the Lord coming out here speaking it to you. You wouldn't know the true statutes and the judgments truly, right, correctly broken down the right way if it wasn't for the men of the Lord teaching. You see? That's why we're telling you the law is not done away with, man. So you can't just stuff with your mouth with the abominable food, man. You see? But yet, you live into these uh, Christ Christianity. Of Catholicism and all these wicked religions, hey, they tell you do whatever the hell you want. Man. You see? So that's why there is no truth, right? There is no mercy and there is no knowledge of the Most High in the land. You see? The same people that's talking about uh, the, the, the Lord's merciful power, but he's the same person that sends you to hell, to burn forever? Right? We heard this one guy, was it, I think it was Boca, Boca, uh, okay, Boca Malone. Malone, right? Uh, no class. No class, right? Uh, said, you know, or one of his clown buddies, you know, so I could be wrong, might be one of his clown buddies, said, a child to go to hell, we are stealing a cookie out of the cookie jar, man. You know how stupid that is, man? You see? Hell don't exist, man. Okay? Hell don't exist. You know, you can... And see, they don't, and that also shows you they don't know the law, man. Because I was listening to the scriptures the other day, and, and back in the old days, it said, look, if you, if you go into your neighbor's vineyard, you can eat as much as you want, but you can't take none with you. I didn't realize that was in there. So if you go and you and you in your neighbor's vineyard and you find you know some grapes and you eat them, that wasn't against the law, okay? And the law is beautiful, man, when it's followed and, and, and taught correctly. Man, the law is beautiful, man. You see? Hey, but why is things in the conditions that it's in? Because of law. The ways of the Lord is not being followed. Right. You see? The ways well, of the Lord. It goes into that. So like, okay. By swearing and lying and killing and stealing uh -huh. and committing adultery. They break out in blood, touch of blood. Therefore shall the land mourn, and every one that dwelleth therein shall languish with the beasts of the field and with the fowls of heaven. Yea, the fishes of the sea also shall be taken away. Yep. Hey, and all that's coming, man. All this wickedness that the brother was just reading, right? All this coming, and all these things are going to languish with it, right? Even because of the, you know, not only because, you know, that's what the Lord wants to happen, because he's going to create a man. But because the ways of the Lord ain't being followed, you, you got these different uh, sea creatures, right? And the beasts of the field, the fowls of the air, right? Languishing, man. You see? Why? All because of Esau and Edom, man. You see? The, 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 the beast, man, right? The world terrorist. The, uh, the, uh, the ecosystem terrorizer, man. Right. You got many titles, man. 
Yeah, hey, the so thief cometh right. not, but to kill, steal, and destroy, right. man. Right. You know, that's what Esau Edom was set up to do, man. And they and they are in perfect wickedness, man. You know, like the scriptures tell you, as iron rusted, so doth so is his wickedness, man. Yep. And well, we know that iron gonna rust, man. You can you can wipe it off and spray some rust oleum, rust away. It's gonna come back eventually, man. It's it, it's within him to do wickedness, all right. So he might come crouching and humble, but hey, man, eventually it's gonna come out, and you're gonna be like, damn, this is a damn snake, man. You know, it's a damn devil. But, uh, can it finish reading, bro? Uh, yeah. Verse 4? Yeah, keep going, bro. Read that verse yeah, 6. Yeah, let, uh, do one minute. I can go to verse 6. Uh, yeah, okay, go to jump to 6. Uh, uh Hebrew. Uh, Hebrews 4 and 6. Jeremiah 4 and 22. My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. My people, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, right? The rest of you scattered Israelites to the four corners of the earth. You are destroyed for a lack of knowledge, man. Yep. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. All right, so because y'all rejected knowledge, the truth of the Holy Scripture, right? The Lord will reject you, man. That thou shalt be no priest to me. Seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy power, I will also forget thy children. Yep. And that's what the Lord has been doing, man. You see? I got a priest at the back door real fast, too. Uh, Proverbs 13 and 13, it says... Whoso despiseth the word shall be destroyed, but he that feareth the commandment shall be shall be rewarded, man. See, so you despise the word, man, right? You gonna be destroyed, man. Yep. And that's going into a, a, my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Why? Because you despising the word of the Lord, man. So you're not getting this knowledge. Man. Which uh, the scriptures say, what well, Isaiah 33 and 6, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times, man. Okay. And y'all are not gonna have that, so y'all are not going to be stable in the time. Jacob trouble, y'all not gonna be stable, y'all gonna bug out, man. You see? And, and we are, and our people is, is leaning upon Esau, right? Uh, Cause that's part of the curses. We gotta go to him for the want of all things, right? So when things do hit the fan and get ugly out here, you gotta go in straight survival mode, you ain't gonna make it. You see, because they haven't taught our people how to farm, right? They haven't taught our people how to hunt, go fishing, Right? They didn't they they haven't talk took our people out into the wilderness and say, look, uh, uh show them like these you can eat these different berries and right. different plants, right? These are eatable and these are uh these other ones right here are poisonous. poisonous. Yep. They See, don't know they don't know about water, right. how to find groundwater, how to how to how filter, to filter the water, water, yeah, how to start a how to how to start a fire, yep. you know, without having a lighter. So our people don't know these different survival tactics, you know, to survive so through, man. Like Adam Yashin Wong would say, our people are through. Hey, they two, the two through crew. <laughs> you know? The two through you know crew. Hey, so, hey, we, and we praise you, how about Jimmy I was shy for the opportunity to not be a part of that damn right, crew, right, man. Right. Lord willing, Lord willing. Because, hey, look, yeah, yeah, for the opportunity. That's why we say, Lord willing, man. Lord willing, we the men of the Lord. Because them people in that day, they're not going to have any covering, man. They're not going to have any salvation, man. But a certain, what did you say? But a certain waiting for, for that destruction. You know what I'm talking about? I'll have to find that. Go ahead. I had something in my head, but you like I forgot it now, man. Because we're just dealing with uh, Jacob, dealing with the survival mode, man. Oh, yeah. This is about to say it. The water y'all must have So our people uh, don't know how to go uh, get these different things themselves and go into the field and do all these different things. So they're going to what? Lean upon Esau again for the help. Now, when he establishes this uh, market of beast system, our people are going to be ultimately left with no choice but to go take that chip. Why? Because first of all, they don't have faith. You know, so they're going to take the chip. Okay? Because what? Y'all don't, y'all ain't going to know what to do. So you're going to say, you know what? It's easy as that possible. And for me, take the chip so I can feed my children. Or so I can eat. You know? Or so I can do uh, whatever I need to do to fit in society. Whatever it takes to be. See? But guess what? You falling upon Esau, falling right in Esau's hands, man. That's part of the snares and traps that he set up. See, so you can be dependent on him, right? You go fall right into his hands, man. You know? And you people, it's, it's, it's gonna be easy. It's gonna be very easy. People make it seem like it's a hard thing to do. No, it's not. Okay? They might say, um, for you to uh, uh to get money out to spend, you gotta have a chip. People will be like, well, I want my money. I want my money. 
Uh, or, or uh, like I just mentioned to the, the, young, the young girl, y'all like smoking. People can't just put down cigarettes, you know, uh, that quickly. Nah, it's they gonna say, I need my cigarettes. Then give me that chip. I want that chip. Yep. Great, man. And then it's, we know how Esau gonna play it. He gonna, you know, he gonna make things more readily available for you if you get the chip, like a bonus package. So Jake gonna love it, man. Jake gonna suck it up, man. But hey, the luck ain't gonna do it. The luck is not gonna do it. You know what we're gonna do to the back? We're gonna do it. Whether we need to come modern, right? For the Lord, or whether we need to just have faith in the Lord, you know, and wait this thing out until the Lord deliver us. And our people so sleep, they'll show you in these different movies how they're going to approach you with the chip. You know what I'm saying? Because it, oh, the scriptures tell you that the ones who take it are going to be deceived into taking it. You know what I'm saying? So like it showed you in that movie, what was that movie we saw? Uh, the Purge. The Purge. Yeah, they went yeah. into the hood. They was like, look, you take this microchip and you go out into the Purge and you kill somebody, yeah. we'll give you money. Well, that's just one example. That's one scenario. You take the chip. Yo, your kids, we're going to give you a year's supply of Pampers and a job and whatever the case may be, man. You know? I try to speak out. Both, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? All right, so go. Uh, go ahead, bro. You can say speak on it. Go ahead. Yeah, I was trying to. Sorry. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, they should be yeah, had. They didn't consent unto them shall be had in the original. Yeah, yes, yeah. in second nether. Yeah. I'll try to find it while you get that, bro. Yeah, bring that out. That's Jeremiah 4 and 22. All right, this is Jeremiah 4 and 22. Mm -hmm. For my people is foolish. Uh -huh. They have not known me. Right. They have not known me. Our people don't know of Yahweh and Yahweh's life. They, they don't know their ways, man. Unless the men of the Lord come out and tell them. Go ahead. They are sodden children. Uh, stupid, man. That means stupid. The Lord says they are sodden children. The Lord called our people sodden, man. You see? And they have none understanding. They have none understanding, man. Okay? They don't. They don't got no true understanding, man. Nope. They are. I'm just going to say the scripture tell you they are wise to do evil. But to do good, they yeah, know it not. Yep, yep. That's what I was uh, trying to think and remember what the scripture was. You're right, it's bro. It's right here. Oh, go ahead, go oh, ahead. Right go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. It's it's not, they are wise to do evil, uh -huh. but to do good, they have no knowledge. Right, so our people are wise to do evil, man. When you think of all the different things, right, evil things that you can do, our people are wise to do it, man. They know how to get around and do all them different ways, but to do, to do good, they don't have no lost knowledge, man. Huh. Yeah. It's like a very hard thing for them to do. Right, and that shows you what true knowledge is right there, all in itself, man. Because he just called them side, and she just, we just got through reading our people die for a lack of knowledge, yep. you know. But he's telling you what they're wise to do, evil. But to do good, they have none understanding. Yep. So that shows you that the true knowledge is the knowledge of good, according to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. And our people don't know it. They don't have it. And you got to know what's good. How do you know what's uh, good and bad? You got to base it off the scriptures, man. You got to know what what to do and what I shouldn't do, man. Right. You got to base it off something, man. Esau got his wicked ass system. How he bases it off this, man? What is it? Uh, what they call it? Uh, he got his whole wicked decree system. It's called like a pineal code or something like that. Uh, yeah, the, the penal, the penal code. The penal, yeah, the penal code and all that. Yeah. The different things that he set up, man. You know, we know his wickedness. You know, but we got ours. What's good and evil, the things that you're supposed to do and the things that you're not supposed to do. Right, and walking according to the law of the commandments is the true definition of walking after the spirit, man. That's how you walk after the spirit. These words I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life, man. So that's how you walk after the spirit. You try to keep the most high's ways, man. You know? I, I got that one you look, I got it down, y'all. Uh, it's the second Ezra, uh, 16, verse 67, it says, Behold, the Most High, Yahweh, himself is the judge. Fear him, leave off from your sins and forget your iniquity. To meddle no more with them forever, so shall the Most High, Yahweh, lead you forth and deliver you from all trouble. For behold, the burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you, and they shall take away certain of you and feed you. 
being idle with being offered unto idols, and they that consent unto them shall be held, shall be had in derision, and a reproach, and trodden under foot. See? And a lot of we know a lot of our people are gonna go consent and go into way to start Yeah. They gonna they gonna think that, you know what, this is the best way for me to go. Okay? But guess what? That's gonna be held in derision, man. Because all you doing is playing yourself. Okay? Like the brother said, they're gonna trust their daddy Esau, man. You know? And, they, and Esau's being led of Satan, man. You of your father the devil. You know? So that's that's whose will you're doing, man. You know, and you have and, 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 and Satan. And Esau's following after the steed of Satan, man. Him that do his will on the planet Earth, man. Yep. If I may say something. Speak loud, baby. If I may say something, if you look, if you look throughout history, what they did with what they did with the Native Americans, they made all these treaties, and what happened? They still slaughtered them. They still destroyed them. So that you know, that's that's a, another, another take on that scripture also. They should be having the original. Yep. Yep. So when when they when they um when they, they you might they might offer the chip to you, say, oh yeah. If you ain't got no food, here, you take the chip, we'll get you a nice care package, this and that. <laughs> yeah. You take the chip, you know, oh, you got this, you know, give you a nice job or whatever, right? You, we'll, we'll, we'll put you up in the penthouse or whatever, whatever it may be. You might take that chip, and they'll still throw your ass in, in the, in the right. concentration camp, right. put you to death. Yep, yep. Esau's a devil, man, right? You got it, bro? Um, I'm trying to see what this is where it is. I might have to look at it. Oh, which one you looking for? Uh, I want to get the back, back of brother. Yeah, Isaiah 55. Right here, I got it. Uh, Isaiah 55. Verse 2. Uh, Isaiah 55. Verse 2. Uh, Isaiah 55. Verse 2. 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 Isaiah 55. He has broken his covenant, which a covenant is an agreement, man. Just like the brother was saying, they had what over like 500 peace trees, right? With the, uh, the Gadites, Native Americans, and uh, the Reubenites, the Seminole Indians. But they broke every last one of them. Broke every last one. It says, and the words of his mouth were smoother than butter, but war was in his heart. His words were softer than oil, yet were they drawn with swords. So even though he came to use the uh, peace, peaceful wording, like, you know, uh, you know, let's be friends type of thing. Then his whole mind focus was on how I can take you down, how I can destroy you. you know, but first I'm gonna use this this peaceful tongue, right? So that's why they called him a pork tongue devil or pale face, yeah. right? So let me try to talk sweetly with him, you know, so I can uh, get this advantage while he is weak, he is comfortable, and, and uh, he trusts me so I can overthrow him so it can be a lot more easy. Precept, uh, Psalm 55 and 21. The words of his mouth were smoother than butter, but war was in his heart. His words were softer than oil, yet were they drawn sore. <laughs> right, right. Brother just said, let it Oh, you said Isaiah. That's why I read it again. You know, it's all good, though. It's all good. Get Job 20 and 11. Job 20 and 11. Job 20 and 11. Okay. You know, oh, so even, uh, I like another group. Uh, Job 20 and 11. Uh, another brother can get a uh, Sirach, Sirach 12 and 16. You know, uh, back in the points up. So uh, then with, even with the Buffalo Soldiers, right? They use, uh, uh, the so-called Negroes, they use them to help take down Reuben and Gag, right? They helped them. And then the Buffalo Soldiers, right? They thought they was going to be in a good case. No, they just used you to help you take down your brothers so they can easier to destroy you too okay they just wanted to get uh, the people out the way which they couldn't take down by themselves so who they got to use Jake just like just like with the truth right right to come against this truth who does Esau uh, send out and use uh, primarily Jake yeah okay our own people to come against us to come against their heritage yeah see but guess what just because y'all coming against us right just don't mean y'all gonna be in a good case, man. See? Even if y'all do be in a, a, a okay standard with Esau, at the end of the day, he still gonna find a way to, uh, to leave you out there. Cause he ain't taking you to them, uh, them doomsday bunkers, man. He leaving you out there high and dry. And really, 
and really, the, the case that's uh, against you that's going to be bad is, it, is with your high body shit that was shot, man. Okay? That's what you want to have a bad case with. Okay? Because that means you turn on him. You turn against uh, your high word, your high shot, and his men. You know? And everything they stand for. Because ultimately, that's what y'all want to do. Y'all want to try to help bring down the truth. But you can't do nothing against the truth. Nothing against the truth, but for the truth. So how much more you try to put it out to come against us, you will have more people looking us up and brothers coming into this world. You know, and, 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 uh, and sisters ultimately taking their lives coming into this truth. Okay? Nothing you can do with them. No matter what tactics you set up, it's not going to be like that. Because this is a Yahweh by Sina Wasai. Right. This is not a man. Right, and them jakes that come against their own heritage, they are them ones that can send it unto them, man. Right, yep. They're going to yep. be had in derision, man, and trodden under foot of man, man. That's it. Yep. And you through. Right. You, you fall for Esau's little little money he can give you, man. And you selling out real cheap, man. Yeah. yeah. This yeah. ain't even real money, man. You selling out for some fake money, man. It's not even going to last. Soon. Right, you ain't gonna be able to use it. You're gonna be wiping your butt with that junk. If you make it. Just like in Venezuela, right? You're gonna be making artwork, artwork, purses, purses, handbag. Hey, it's gonna it's gonna cost a stack taller of that fake money than the actual tissue paper just to buy it, man. Get a loaf of bread. Yeah, I saw that I saw a picture. They had the toilet paper and they had the money, and the stack of the paper for the money was higher than the toilet paper, man. Right, right. Okay, bring it out, bro. All right, this is Job chapter 20, verse 11. That's right. His bones are full of sin uh -huh. of his youth, which shall lie down with him in the dust. The wickedness be sweet in his mouth. Yes, so he's the wickedness be sweet in his mouth. Go ahead. Though he hide it under his tongue. He has, so he has it under his tongue, right? Even though it's already there. Though he spare it, for it is not. But, but, and forsake it not, but, but keep it still within his mouth, yet his meat in his bowels is turned, it is the gall of the ox within, uh, within him. Yep, you see, the gall of the ass that is within him, man. Wow. You see, so it's already in Esau, man. Yeah. Okay, hey, the scriptures say this. Just to back, back you up with, with another one. Yeah, his book of Psalms 58. Verse three, it says, uh, "Yea, in your in heart you work wickedness; you weigh the balance of your hands in the earth. The wicked are estranged from the womb; they go astray as soon as they be born, speaking lies. Their poison is like the poison of a serpent; they are like the deaf adder that stoppeth her ear." Man, you see, right? And like it said, that that ass—that's a type of snake that's within him. He he is a snake. Within man, just like the serpent in the garden, man. That's right. You know, that's right. that's, they come in that same spirit, which the serpent was a man. You know, it wasn't no a literal right. snake. That's why the scripture says that old serpent, man. You know. So go ahead, bring your priest up out. Uh, Sirach 12 and 16. Yeah. An enemy speaketh sweetly with his lips, yeah. but in his heart. He imagined if how to throw thee into a pit. Right, and that's his whole setup, man. You know, he speaks sweetly with his lips. He speaks with peace, right? You know, we just need to come together and find a better way. But ultimately, he's thinking, you know, in, in his heart, well, you know what? This is how I'm going to take him down. And yeah, this is how we're going to do it. Not only him by himself, the whole, uh, 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 all the other nations, man. That's why they have councils together, man, in the UN building. Think about what's the next next ways and stages that we can help overthrow these people in the sand, the Israelites. Yeah. You know, hey, they all conspired to come against us. That what? That the nation of Israel be no more in remembrance, man. See? Hey, but the cat is out the bag now, baby. Yeah. <laughs> he will weep with his eyes, but if he find opportunity, he will not be satisfied with blood. Uh -huh. uh, if, if adversity, basically, he's going to kill you and then some. Yeah. He's going to kill you, then he's going to spit on your name, man. If adversity come upon thee, thou shalt find him there first. Uh -huh. And though he pretend to help thee, yet shall he undermine thee. Right, because he's always there first on the scene, you know. Oh, what's going on? You okay? 
So he meanwhile, he's the one that set it up. You know? He's the one that set it up. Lucifer. He set the whole thing up. Lucifer. He set us in this 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 this, 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 this position in which of poverty that we're in. But then he then he come around on the other side and say, "Well, we're looking at ways and means to help benefit you." No, you right. set it up this way for us to be in the condition that we in. You know what I'm saying? Right. You know, you put us in these these different projects, man, and you not letting our people get jobs and all this wicked madness that you're doing. But then you come on the other hand to say. You know, well, Botana found a better way for you. That's Esau, man. See? <laughs> That's how he plays, man. He plays both sides of the coin. Just like we always see going, even dealing with this, uh, uh, this, uh, uh like, president crap, uh, uh, Democratic and Republican. E Esau controls all that, man. Just like how he said the Heavenly Father uh, uh, controls both sides, Esau controls both sides when it comes to shit like that. Right. Okay. Oh, so that's the point of that. Alright, are you, are you got some more? Yeah, just a little bit. Right. He will shake his head and clap his hands yep. and whisper much and change his countenance. But like the brother was going into, man. You know, on one side of the coin, they acting like they for you. They trying to help you. But then they turn around, they, oh man, look at these niggas, lazy ass niggas. They, you know, they slander you. You know, as soon as you fall, oh well, the nigga deserved it. You know what I'm saying? But, but they get away with much more, man. You know? Let something happen to you, he gonna sit there clapping his hands. And it's funny, man, see, people can speak all manners of wickedness all throughout the earth, right? Right, this is how you know people is wicked, man. People can speak all, all manners throughout the earth, right? He's all finished. People can speak all wicked manners of you all the abominations and things all throughout the earth, right? Same forever. manners of wickedness, but then nobody don't got nothing to say. Nobody has nothing to say, right? But then when, you, when we come out here and we teach you the truth of the Bible, show you how ways really should be, and how you people should correct themselves, now that people got a problem, you're going to walk past and, and smirk and make them go and stop. Here they go. That's because the spirit made us all. Hey, brother, get these together. We're probably going to go When it's going to be too strong. No? So, uh, so uh, I'm going to read 2nd Ezra 16, verse 7. Right? It says, For there shall be in every place and in the next cities a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. They shall be like madmen, fearing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. So we know Esau is going to come after us, man. He's going to come, mainly his target is to get the Hebrew Israelites, man. Right. They're going to come out us, right? Why? Because what? They look at us as enemies of the state, man. Why? Because we come to get their whole new world order and their whole system that's set up. We're against it, okay? And we speak out against it. And all the wickedness that he's been covering, right, throughout the face of the earth, we're exposing it. Amen. See? Even though you got, uh, 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 what's these people called, uh, Pedestrians, no, civilians, the pedestrians, these, uh, like the unwashed, the people uh, that uh, uh, they, they they whistleblowers, heard, right? Oh, whistleblowers. Even though you whistleblowers. got whistleblowers of the other nations yeah, exposing the young, the, his own people, right? You know, uh, they're enemies of the state too, but he's really looking at us. We're the true enemies of, of the state. You see, because we are we are destroying what he has uh, tried to set up and continue forever. You know. Right, now, they, now, they had an example of these people out in, in Dallas, these activists, these states, right, around carrying guns, and telling people they can carry guns, the square, the carry guns right? What happened to them? The feds came down on them. Now, are they speaking righteousness? No. But they're going to come down on you, uh, you woke, so-called woke jakes as well, man. That's bucking up against the system. That's fighting for your so-called black rights. They're coming down on you, too. You know, but you're gonna. Hey, the scriptures say that the wicked shall suffer straight things and shall not see the wise. So you're gonna suffer the persecution too when they crack down on us, man. Right, right, right. But you're not gonna get the reward for actually being out here preaching righteousness. Right. The Lord's not defending you, uh, black, you so-called black militant groups, man. Right. Or you other, you Israelites that pick up arms. He's not defending. No, this is the only one we need right here, man. Right. Okay, this is the only weapon we need. You see, and with this weapon alone. 
We've been crushing this devil, man. You see? That's why they're so hard against us, because we're speaking the truth. If, if, if what we're doing is so insignificant, then they wouldn't come against us. They just say, you know what? Let them, let them niggas teach them the truth, whatever the hell they want. Let them Latinos and Native Americans, right? Because we all Israelites. Let them say whatever they want. They ain't saying nothing, but they know that this is the truth. They know there's nothing they can do about it. Oh, read that one goes out. This is Wisdom of Solomon, uh, chapter 2. I'm going to start at verse 9. You can read it to the camera. Yeah, go ahead. It says, let none of us go without this part uh -huh. about uh, 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 verse 10. Right. Right. It says, let, let us oppress the poor righteous man. Let us not spare the widow nor reverence the ancient gray hairs of the age. Right, right. They, that's, that's what they do, man. Right, even if we go, if we no, can go no, back, no, let him read. We can go oh, back man. to the he don't break of slavery. It down. What were they doing? They were, yeah, come on, man. He trying to come up here and try to direct the situation, man. Your right. time is over. Yeah, on, man. Okay, you ain't coming out here directing no narrative, man. He this saw is, it this through. This is our platform, man. Through. Right. You know, coming up talking. About, so hey, I let him, you know, say done, his man. little bullshit. They've been oppressing our heritage. They oppressed the old man, even the, even the young. Right. You know? It says let. He, he, and not just that time, even now, bro. I, I was working with uh, people that was 65, man, or 62. You shouldn't even be working at that age, man. Uh -huh. Your body's all decrepit. Your bones is through. You see? You got work about to fall over. You can really stay awake. Stay awake. You see? The older people shouldn't even be working, man, but this is how the society is, man. Yep. Built off wickedness and greed, and they want more money. They don't care how young, uh, how old you is. They want you to work, man. Yep. Go ahead, bro. Let our strength be the law of uh, be the law of justice uh -huh. for that for that which is feeble is found to be nothing worth. Therefore, let us lie in wait for the righteous, because he is not of our turn. And he is 